All right, gonna do a quick video with a question from somebody who purchased the masterclass. And uh, Randall says, I'm trying to find the right file structure so I don't have multiple Studio One files all over the place. The problem started when I tried to get everything into an external hard drive. I've now got multiple copies of four of the main files, user data, sound sets, presets, and songs replicating all over. I'm trying to determine how to consolidate and re remedy this. The photo shows the mess I've made. And I'll bring up a picture of what he's talking about here. He's talking about this, where uh, basically he's got, you know, his Studio One folder here. And inside the Studio One folder is the sound sets and the songs and the presets and macros. And then he's got a Studio One user data here that has the installer, the macros, the presets, project sounds. And then inside the sound sets, blah, blah, blah. So it's kind of replicating on him. So here's what I do and how I kind of organize my stuff. You can put your stuff on an external drive, and, you, and you, I do. Where you set where everything goes is in your options. And you can get it to your options from here. Just hit setup under setup. Or if you're actually in a song, you're starting a song, you just go up to a little bit. Come on. Uh, if you go to Studio One options same screen it's right here so it's in your options under locations this is this tab user data is where all your user data is going that's that means your songs project shows presets etc this is the folder where you set that so i would recommend no matter where else you how many times you replicated and created this before this point pick the spot you want it to go and put it here Select that folder, find where you want it to go and put it there, create that folder or put it on an external hard drive. It's all good. And then after that's created and the program creates it, then go back to anything you have in your other folders in these guys and just copy anything that like if you cop, if you have songs in this folder and you have songs in this folder and songs in this folder over here, just pick the ones, get all the ones you want and put them into the proper folder but it should stop replicating at that point if you select your data location here for that. For sound sets, that's another folder. This, I use uh, sound sets for, um, I, I put all my sound sets on an external uh, drive, not on this computer, but on, on my two other main ones. Oh no, it is on this computer too. Um, I have a folder dot drive D, music and sound banks, and I have the personas, and that's where all the sound sets go. And you set that, um, here in add. So if you have a folder that has all your sound sets in it, you got, you have to make sure that it's added here. Otherwise it will, the program will not find your sound sets for all the future stuff that you want to put in there. You set the folder here. So now when you download a sound set or maybe you get it from the program or somehow you install, yeah, if you install it from the program, you have to make sure it installs to the folder you want with this. And then, so this should be here technically for me. So I'm gonna do that right now for my sound sets. I'm glad we went over this. I'm gonna pick um, in my drive D folder, music, um, sound banks, personas. That's where I have it, I select that folder. Now anything new goes into that folder and this also is the folder that, um, so the location, so the program knows where everything's going. Um, file types, don't have to worry about that. Instrument library. I think this is where instrument presets and stuff go. I have to look up what a sound font is. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to get back to you on that one. But I would probably put that in a external folder if you want. Now, the reason I didn't, I think sound fonts are very lightweight. So they could sit on my main drive. I'm not going to go crazy with that. I, I also do the same thing for VSTs. I like to have them on an external uh, drive. And for this, I actually did a YouTube video on that. Go check it out. For this computer, this is, this is not my main Studio One computer. Um, these are all on my, my main drive. But you can put them on an external drive. I think under music, I might have... No, it's not on this computer. I, have, I usually have a folder called VSTs on an external drive. So if you want to put stuff on an external drive, you can. You can see I didn't for this on this computer, but this is where you set that. 
So you have your VSTs going to a specific location, your instrument sound fonts going in a specific location, your sound sets, which these are the ones that are gigabytes big. These are the big mamas. So yes, I like to have them on an external drive. And then your user data, all of this stuff, songs, projects, shows, presets, etc. You can put that on an external drive too if you want to save space. You just do it right here. So I'd recommend doing that, then moving all your crap over that got replicated a million times. Not that it's crap, Randall. I'm sure it's good stuff. Um, but whoever's doing that. And then every time you run the pro and hit OK or apply. And every time you run the program after that, it should be in the proper spaces. I hope that helps. You know, a lot of times I do these videos not like um, with years of preparation. So I'm kind of like learning along with you guys. So uh, anyway, I hope this helped. That is how you do that.